This is unchained. This is out of place and time. Boom. Boom, 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 there boom, is the home of home and the home of wife. You better get them straight next time. Boom, 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 boom. Na, 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 na. Sneakers at odd sizes have no right to squeak on the same court as high top, all leather, velcro, fat laced, air conditioned name brands such as yourself. I'm flattered. <laughs> what do you want from me? I want you to relax. Talk about your husband. See how strange you are to each other. He loves me. Nope. Side. That's his version of cheating on you. You've been together a year now, think about oh, it. Oh, I hold him and he's warm. Well, then you hold him tighter and you'll feel the cold spot. Go ahead, hold him up here. And keep your eyes closed longer this time. Let's go, we're on the clock, we've got work to do. What are you afraid of? I'm not scared of anything. my eyes too. We'll both be getting out of bed at night and looking out a blue window in the rain. I've done that. After all, has been yelling in his sleep. You go back to your side of the bed and the mattress is cold, stays that way till morning. Keep those eyes closed.
sees his body hit the ground. She like can't live with a man whose brain tries to kill him in his sleep. You can't change the way I feel about it. I don't have to change a thing. There's something dead in the middle of what you all bring. Let's go in. I thought I was giving little guys food. Hold on! If you go in there, what? They'll offer you cookies and tell you ghost stories. Tell you about the time Dad got so drunk when he was in the Coast Guard that he took out a bridge on the Gowanus Canal. Then you'll stay there for 31 years. I can't go in there, nobody can. <laughs> They're not looking at you. Maybe they wonder what's up with Walt, too. How are we going to get the next clue? There's enough here, I think. They're standing that particular way because it's how Walt's carved them. The ceiling light's strong, but I think there's another light source. It's a TV. So what's wrong with that? The light's stationary. It must be a test pattern in black and white. The picture in the window is also a test pattern. Mine? Speedy. Speedy. Stands me. Like this? They're standing, waiting. My mother's hand is braced on the door frame. She'll wait a long time. What are they looking at, Bebe? Traffic lights, no traffic. Some Miller beer signs still on in stores that are closed. Nothing. They're very old. They don't stand unless they're going to get something for it. And they don't wait around anymore except for things they've already had once to come back. Nothing new. They don't look ahead much. They don't even play the lottery anymore. Two old people with a lot of time on their hands. Four old eyes, anybody street, I've been there. <laughs> I'm wrong. There's not enough here. There never has been. Hey, tie yourself to the saddle, Sarge. We got a whole night's ride ahead of us. They're facing south. But that won't do the trick. There's just too much south in the world. <laughs> no! It's coming back. It's been a long time since I've stand, seen them stand just this particular way. You feel how steady my hand is on your shoulder, BB? Yeah, it's driving you crazy. There are four directions they look. Each shows they suspect us of a particular type of crime based on our velocity, route, and previous record. If they're going by the old, old rules, they look west, out the air shaft, because we used to burn old mattresses or do marine explosions in the storm drain. Out this window, north means slow gin, mumbly peg, or cheating at chess in Riverside Park. They never look east because that's either subways or porno. They don't want to know about those. <laughs> south, like now, is the worst. There's nothing south but the village. Nobody lives there. Not that far down. Walt once stole a moped and, and went down to the docks around 12th Street, got his permanent squint when he bashed his head into a pile trying to jump the bike down into a rowboat so we could sail to Germany. Whenever we go south now, you can see it in our folks' faces. Well, they're off again to destroy Europe. 
Well, Sheila may be as close as 12th Street. Let's wrap this up. Uh, Walt doesn't like Mom and Dad enough to let them be the last clue. Walk away slow. Their outlines are so sharp. I'd be afraid they'd break something if they turned. Soon the backs of our heads will be in a field of vision. Keep moving, but don't be sudden. There are cobwebs between them. And the cobwebs are in motion. I, I, I feel something on the back of my neck. <laughs> Julia, will you? Why did he take Sheila? Your parents always over your head to go quiet when you hate. He turns to torture and indirection. I've seen him make small wild animals crawl into holes they can't back out of using his voice alone. How'd you ever get mixed up with a brother like that? Smell a vision mummy movie. Yes, I know he's usually quiet to you. You have valentines and stone silence and a long day's work. It's minus three for you. I'm happy to zero you to death. The valentines count because you can keep looking at them. Good. But that's the kind of employee initiative I'm looking for. Dream foundry is casting your iron error today. drying moons of Saturn. I got to use some airbrush on that one. Very slick tilt to the whistling orbits. Look in a cheap but successful way the whole movie was playing off the reasons people have for looking at moons. For mooning over someone far away. Tug of the constantly ebbing thing with streamlined mortality. So 
The altar boy on Benny's. You're the same height. With short hair, you look close. That's what this picture is. This is the closest we look to each other ever. I don't usually hold my hands that straight. He could never get his eyes as wide as mine. We stopped checking each other out. Out of the corners of our eyes, just did it. <laughs> he chose a picture on you inside and out. When the family went through the picture box, we always stopped at this one. There are those unbreakable combs in our back left pockets. There are those dime-sized subway tokens in the right front. Ah, how the mighty have fallen! Ah, now get a hold. Where is this? This tree's in a bench. Where is this? This place is the reason we're cutting dandy. This picture was taken on a family vacation. We used to take day trips. We rode the Staten Island Ferry back and forth. Subway, the Battery Park, Conway, oh, yeah. Sheila's waiting. Oh, we'll be low on tokens. Oh, we'll crash that game when we come to it. Battery Park may be where they are. Do some tokens, take a chance. Yes. Hey, hey, you were stuck in that picture pretty deep, Ott. Why are you hanging on to that cut looks so dear? Let's Picture's an instrument of war. It makes me feel more fierce. Put Sheila first. I know myself. Boys and guns. Sheila. You and I shared coffee. We touched hands. War widows could have no stronger sorority than you and I have, walling our gentleness, pace, and incandescence against the neon crisis in the factory of the Stone City. Some of the best parts of being married come when Odd isn't even there. That's how strong it is. Quite a prophecy. How's that work? I say I'm a married woman to anyone who asks. I'm happy in the same way to say I'm Catholic. Catholic and married, those who give us forever. Too loose. Concentrate again on the two of you. Your nerves are taken. He kisses the bride. <laughs> he looks nervous. Part of his cuteness. It's got dog ears. No. I get around that. Baby is my friend. She calms me down. When Odd is out walking or say it OTV, she'll come over. She isn't married, but she knows what I'm talking about when love won't roll and sits on you in the form of pneumonia. We talk. I touch my four walls. My tabletop. I have new sheets for my best friend. And by the time Ock comes back, he seems relaxed too. You think you'll always like him when he comes back? Yes. Who has he come back to more times in his life? Now she's not here. Blue those toes. I don't know where that muscle my eyes anymore. Muscle them around. We're not done. Look for clues. Yo, league leader, get good on a clue, eh? Found it! <laughs> this one's easy. A rope? Fine. A rope? Uh, he's going back in time. Tabasco is the present. Family is a little while ago. The picture goes back some. This rope is far back. I don't know how much farther he can go. How far back to the day? It was a Cub Scout field trip to a cemetery. They let Walt take me along for babysitting. On one set of graves was a, a colonial sailor next to his wife. On each of their stones was a knot, showing how they were still tied. A square knot! Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> Scoutmaster said, who can talk us through a square knot? And then he volunteered my brother. There was no rope, and uh, Walt couldn't figure it out with words. So without speaking, he took my arms and made a square knot between us. That was our secret handshake for a long time. Guess it gets better further back. Hey! Ah, 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 what cemetery was it? <laughs> Greenwood in Brooklyn. Oh, I skied Brooklyn. 
Hey, only, <laughs> only, three, only three tokens. Uh, good. Say how we get somewhere from here. Below average. You were at that party we stood on the edge of, the one where there were squirting vodka out of water pistols into each other's mouths? At the beach. Oh, that was the worst night of my life. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> I stayed and helped Ned clean up after you went back to get dressed for school. <laughs> Ned's with the Brooklyn surfers. They party every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night under the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh -huh. They haul around a little cake dory on a trailer to hold the cake and advertise. We can borrow it, okay? <laughs> somebody crying 150 yards away now in the fog. Coming to take my magic at this old plan. It's no fun. This is no fun either. I'm in the hangover period of evil. Now I know the word kindred. squeeze lungs and damp clothes. What makes you think you can walk level ground with him, hand in hand in clear air? You must not be akin to think like that. I don't have to be his brother to be his wife, do I? <laughs> we'll get lost. I know the way. I'm afraid of that water. It's okay. My dad was Coast Guard, and he was pointing out landmarks on those Staten Island ferry rides. We're going to, whoops, Pat, we're going to, uh, mine. We're going to cut across Water Milk Channel. <coughs> Smell the make a bubble gum for uh, baseball cards at Bush Terminal. Hook past the rose lights on the Port Authority docks, and then on to the violet lights on Pier A and Gowanus Bay. That's about as far as we'll get by water. Whoa, tiny. We <laughs> won't all fit. Hey, don't cut me. So, anybody's free to stay. But nobody has to. If you've got the metal, we can string a surfboard out behind and tow somebody. <laughs> Who writes the dinghy's dinghy? Huh? <laughs> I do. Why you? He said he was afraid of the water. He's got to do it. Right? Right. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Be careful, big brother. Oh! 